Hello, my name is Ben Sadler. I'm a pastor at Goodview Trinity Church. And I know that each of you watching this video is under an incredible amount of pressure uh, to be great. I see messages all over the place about leaving your legacy and making a name for yourself. And that's the reality of living in an individualistic culture. Uh, that's why our culture loves TV shows like American Idol and The Voice is because we think that real joy and happiness and freedom comes from being that person on the stage, from being remembered. That's why we love people like Steve Jobs because that, that one man changed so much of our culture by inventing the iPhone. Uh, but here's the reality. You don't need to be great to be great. And that's what the story of Christmas teaches us. See, in the Christmas story, there's this character called Caesar Augustus, and he was the first emperor in Rome, and he had a kingdom of over 55 million people and did amazing changes uh, to his kingdom, and yet we've forgotten about him. Um, he's just a name in the Bible to us now, and that's the reality, is that every one of us is going to be forget forgotten. Um, the greatest entertainers will be replaced by other entertainers. The greatest politicians will be replaced. Uh, people will forget about you and they'll forget about me, no matter how great we might be. And that's the reality. Um, and so where does real greatness come from? What does it mean to be great? Uh, is when we find our greatness in someone else. You see, during the time of Caesar Augustus, there was a baby that was born in Bethlehem that everyone thought was a nobody. He was laid in a manger and yet, that's real greatness, because he will never be forgotten. In fact, we divide history by the birth of Jesus. It's 2,015 years since he was born. That's why it's 2015. Um, and real freedom and joy and happiness and greatness comes from knowing that that baby lived, died, and rose for you and me, and has made us children of God, and we will live forever in his presence because of the forgiveness he has offered us. If you want to hear more about true greatness, I encourage you to come to worship this uh, this week. All the information's in the email. Uh, watch the videos from last week's sermons, and as always, please share this with as many people as you can. I believe this is a non-confrontational way for people to hear gospel content in a very personal way. Uh, so please share that with others. Until next time, God bless you.